everybody. Good morning. I'm just drinking my morning coffee. <laughs> uh, today I kind of wanted to share with everybody a little bit more about who I am as a person and you know where I come from. Uh, I was born and raised in Southern California. Uh, outside of one year when I lived in Arlington, Texas during seventh grade, I grew up in California. Uh, lived in various places. Uh, ended up finally settling in Palmdale, which is in the Antelope Valley. That's about that's about an, an hour to an hour and a half, depending on traffic, uh, north of LA. It's up in the high desert. I graduated from Palmdale High School. Uh, <clears throat> you know, one thing that I wanted to share about who I am and, and what makes me who I am and. Last night I was watching the show, and uh, it's it's called Superstore, and it's a comedy show. It, it's basically ripping on Walmart, Target type stores. Uh, they the characters in the show were comparing, I guess, bad experiences in their life, and to see whose was worse. And the punchline to one of the jokes was, "Well, I watched my brother drown." I don't appreciate that uh, because I am actually somebody who did watch his brother drown. When I was three years old, almost four, this was April of 77, uh, one of my very first memories in life occurred and that was watching my brother drown. Our parents were gone. They had left us in the care of one of my uncles. Um, he wasn't watching us the way that he that he should have. Um, at the time, he was taking a lot of drugs. Um, so my brother and I, we were outside riding our big wheels, and we got thirsty. We lived with our parents at my grandma's house, uh, and she lived a couple houses down from my uncle and my aunt who lived with my uncle's mom. So it was all same neighborhood. Uh, my brother and I, long story short, we stacked our big wheels up against this brick wall into our grandma's backyard. We climbed over the wall uh, to try the doors in the back of the house to see if they were unlocked, and of course they weren't. She had a swimming pool. Uh, one thing led to another. He fell in and I watched him die. I watched him drown. I still have a lot of memories about that. I, I can still remember colors and smells and sounds and... But, you know, that's, that's an incident that actually happened in my life and I don't like it being the punchline of a joke. Um, <clears throat> It's part of what makes me who I am. It's, you know, it's 40 years on, but it still affects me quite a bit um, because it's something that happened to me when I was so young and it's one of my very first memories. I mean, you know, I've got fleeting memories here and there of other things that happened around that time, but that is, That's the one memory that really sticks with me as being among the first memories that I have. Um, you know, people have over the years called me a negative person. Uh, I'm not. I, you know, I, I try to find positive things in the world. I try to find positive things in my own life. Uh, some days I get really bogged down, though, with... Uh, you know, depressive thoughts. I mean, I like I've already admitted to you guys before, I, I've struggled with anxiety and depression over the years. Uh, There's a lot of things that happened in my life growing up, um, growing up in an abusive home. I mean, that's, you know, you hear the stories all the time of people going out and committing crimes and then blaming it on their abusive childhood. I'm one of those people that I was, and I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal, but I've been able to live my life in spite of that and live a relatively normal life. Um, 
But, you know, like I said at the beginning of this, this is, you know, I wanted to share a little bit more about who I am as a person and, and you know, where my head is most days. Um, I spent a lot of years not opening up uh, about who I am and, and being closed off and having those walls around me for my own protection. Uh, and it's only in recent years that I've really torn down those walls and, and really started sharing more with people. And it hasn't always gone over well. Some people, some people have been very critical of that. Uh, people who aren't family or close friends. Because, uh, I mean, I, I share pretty openly on social media uh, about my life experiences. And, it, and I've taken a lot of criticism for that. And it, it really just irritates the hell out of me. Because it's like, look... You know, if, if you don't like what I'm saying, you don't have to read it. You don't have to listen to it. Um, if it makes you uncomfortable or if it strikes a nerve with you uh, about something maybe you've experienced in your own life and, and you just don't want to hear it, then, you know, I don't, I don't need to hear your negative comments about it. Um, yeah, I realize it's not for everybody and, and, and I'm okay with that. You know, that some people still have those walls up and I can totally understand that. I, I get that. Um, but I'll, I'll be sharing more over the course of the, the month of these of these vlogs um, about my life and, you know, my day to day and how it affects me and everything. So that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to let my dog in. He's over here scratching at the door. Uh, and then I'll probably go to the gym. Yeah, I, I told you guys yesterday I joined that gym. Um, so I'm going to go and get some exercise in. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. Uh, everybody have a good day and be safe out there. Thanks for tuning in.